Hey, so I have a retreat planned for my retailers this week that I'll be hosting. So we took a little road trip today. We scored all of this locally sourced stuff. You guys come along with me and find out where we found it. Hey guys, so we are headed to Wilcox, Arizona today. So I thought I would bring you guys along. We are headed over there to get wine. I'm hosting my retailers for a retreat this weekend and I want to serve them um, some local goodies. So we're headed to Wilcox, Arizona. Wilcox is in northern Cochise County. So they're a part of Cochise County, which is separate from us, but they're close to us and we claim them. So we're headed over there to get some wine. They actually have their own ABA designation. So there are quite a few tasting rooms there. So we're hoping to get some really good wine to serve at the mixer during the retreat. And we're gonna head to, are we gonna, we're gonna go to Apple Annie's too, right babe? Yep. So Apple Annie's, you um, can either go out and pick your own peaches. I'm cheating today. It's hot y'all. It's so hot today. I like walked out the house and I swear I had condensation on my face like that. So, you know, it's hot. But we're gonna head out to Apple Annie's. Um, they have so much produce out there. They actually have two farms. They have one with groves where they have apples and peaches. And then there's another farm where you can get other produce. Um, and then they have their own butchery too, which I think is cool. We have one in our county too. We're really thankful to be able to buy locally sourced and processed um, meat. And so, I don't know, we're gonna spend the day in Wilcox today and we'll bring you guys along with us and we'll see what trouble we find. Um, and so, let's see. Look at that cloud right there. You guys, that is so beautiful. Okay, y'all, there are people who chase storms uh, we run, we trying to run away from this storm. <laughs> We're hoping to get out to Apple Annie's, which is the orchard, before that huge storm that I just showed you guys catches up with us. So, fingers crossed that I will not look like a wet cat the next time you guys see me. For real though. Oh my gosh, you guys see this rain? So, I hope we get to make it to the orchard because I need my fresh made donuts. And we were gonna try to make it out to Dragoon because they're having a garlic festival today, but I don't know. We've had a really good monsoon season here in Arizona, which you hate to complain about because we need the rain so bad. We do. And we've been rained on once before at the garlic festival. We don't need to have that happen again. <laughs> I didn't wear white this time. You noticed that, baby. Yes, right? I did. <laughs> imagine that Arizona is always brown but during monsoon season we get a lot of rain and so there's a lot more green mesquite bushes um, who do a good job of surviving whether there's water or not but they're certainly greener during monsoon when we're seeing a lot of rains here so we are here at Apple Annie's it's already starting to sprinkle you guys so I'm not sure how much time we have to be here I left my Ikea bag in the van um so oh they have boxes so we'll be okay but i'll flip you guys around so you guys can kind of see um i don't know what it's like here so you guys in case you didn't know i am like a serious foodie and there is kettle corn and i believe fresh cider donuts here so i'll be hitting them up for both <laughs> So we're coming into the bakery to get pies for the retreat, but there's all kinds of other stuff here too, you guys. You guys can get all kinds of stuff that's cured and pickled and jellies and all this stuff is made locally from the produce that's grown locally, most of it. Um, so 
which is super cool. Homemade pie. You guys, these donuts, do you see the condensation? It's because they're still hot. Like they're completely fresh. Were you gonna eat a donut right now, babe? I am. Assuming they don't drive us off the road. You know. And these are apple donuts, right? David said I peached them out, so he got apple donuts. What's the word on the apple donut? Good, I like the cinnamon sugar on them too. No. Okay, I'll have to try. So we're leaving Apple Annie's and we're headed back into town um, to the wineries, to the tasting rooms, um, to actually buy wine for the retreat. And hopefully we can come back on and show you guys the downtown area of Wilcox. So we saw a sign for fresh pecans. And so I guess right here, babe, we gotta turn in. I guess so. So we're turning in for fresh pecans randomly. And I just love seeing this. This is someone who lives here who's monetized um, their resources. Like, love it. So simple. Thank you. So you guys grow these right here? Yes. Yeah, these trees are full of pecans right now. Um, they won't be harvested until December, January time frame. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are, we're just harvested in January. So so you guys know, if you buy pecans in the store and that's all you have access to, that's fine. But they are not going to be anything like the ones that you buy when you buy them fresh. They are so much meatier. I find the ones in the store are almost too dry. And so I'm always like super happy when I find a source for fresh pecans. A uh, group of ladies getting together, going to have a small uh, snack selection, fruits, nuts, that sort of things. What kind of wines would go good with that? Um, I would say the 2016 Malvasia and Bianca, and then for a little bit sweeter, the 2021 Malvasia and Bianca, and then for the reds, for a smooth Pinot Noir 2016, and then to end a little bit of a more high, the highest body, the 2018 Malbec. Okay. I think that's perfect. So I'm going to taste each one of them just, you know quality control to make sure, but that's probably what we'll do here. And then we have four other tasting rooms because we're gonna buy a total of 20 bottles today um, for our mixer at the retailer's retreat next week. So, cheers. You guys, check out this bar. Like these are from the sides of the wine barrel lens. Is that not cool or what? Oh Lord, y'all, the rain is coming. So we're on, this is Main Street, right? Essentially it's railroad, right? It's Railroad Avenue, but it's essentially like their main street. And so there are several tasting rooms. And so we're gonna visit each one and hopefully they'll let us record inside. I was hoping to be able to do some thrifting here at Mary's shop, but she's closed. <laughs> so we're walking down Railroad Avenue. We're gonna go taste, what's the place on the corner? Do you know me? I don't know which one it is. We're gonna do a tasting. I already did the wine. I'm actually feeling a little, little um well she didn't, give you, she didn't give you a taste she gave you a half a bottle I know. um and so we're gonna and we're just tasting to make sure that there the wine go. that we get is what we want for the retreat so um we're going to our second tasting room um the one we just left was eridus yes okay so now we're gonna go to this one we have one down and four to go so we'll see this is a really cool space right here. I don't think I've seen this before. I know we have to go this way. Um, Can you see it? Yeah. Really cool. They were working on it and we came earlier. You can kind of see, I don't know if it's public. Like the gates are, there's a gate right here. I'm well, it's public except for us. <laughs> so, no, it's locked. So I guess it's not like, I think so, yes. Very interesting. So, we're going to head over there and buy four more bottles. Our goal is 20 bottles by the end of the day. Five tasting rooms, right? Right. Four bottles from each. So, only I bought an extra bottle for myself because that was really good wine. <laughs> All right. Okay. So so this is, I'm trying to see if we can get there. The architecture on this building is gorgeous. I can't wait to do something like that. Um, 
Oh, Birds and Barrels. This is the one that we're going to right now. So, we'll meet you guys inside. So, this one is the rosé. It is fruity in my yes. thought. So, this is the Malbec rosé. Okay. Um, I think rosé actually gets a really bad rap. They think it's going to be syrupy, light, and like too sweet. Whereas, this is 100% Malbec rosé. There's no sugar added to it. So, it's really light and fruity, but there's no sugar. Can I tell you a secret? I don't like sweet wine. Do you? I do. And that's a thing. <laughs> I have some sweet wine. Do you have something? No, this is nice, though. It's not too dry. Sometimes, mm -hmm. this is really nice. So I'll definitely get a bottle of this one. Awesome. But I'd like to try if you have something sweet. I do. Just for my personal collection. Totally. Don't tell my husband. I have some. <laughs> this is going to rock your boat. This is my sweet wine. But I have the same one. It's sparkling. Do you? I don't because have it open so for sad. tasting. It's but okay. Well, because yeah. we used to, I used to like, what was the one I liked, baby? The sparkling? Uh, Coronado. Yeah, Coronado yeah. had a really nice sparkling and then they don't do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah the new owners said they didn't want to. Which is so everyone not, loves sparkling wine. Of no, course, they're not new owners anymore. That was right. like two years ago. Uh, yeah. I know. It's funny. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh my gosh. It's so humid today, y'all. I'm just melting. I'm melting. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I told my husband, I like walked outside and I was like, right. immediately, with condensation yes. on me. Yeah. Well, we've had so much rain. This is one of the wetter monsoons that we've got. I was gonna say, I don't dare complain though, because we need it so badly. Oh, so bad. Last summer, oh, it was pretty green. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is our summer one. This is our. It's kind of dirty. Yeah. This is one, like, if you're at the pool at 10 a.m., this is totally appropriate. Day drinking at the pool. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Did you hear that, babe? The expert said it's okay to day drink at the pool at 10 a.m. You can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really nice. You ready? Oh, I do. Yeah, I have a water bucket right over here. And you said you have this one and sparkling? I do. I don't have it open, unfortunately. No, it's okay. But I do have it sparkling. And how much is your sparkling? 24, 26, oh, okay. something like that. Their sparkling was like 38, so I didn't get a bottle. 28. So I'll get a bottle of the sparkling okay. for me, and then I'll go ahead and get the rose, this one, and I'll just take whatever two reds you. I like that. Yes, for the other two. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I don't dare drink red wine because then my husband may have to like. Oh, yeah, I have to share. <laughs> No, he may have to little bear me home. I don't know why. Whites don't affect me the way reds do. Interesting. Thank you. So I love all this copper. This is gorgeous. I bet this copper was so dark they didn't even know it was copper at first. You know, because it gets oxidized. This door is fabulous. Oh, wow. Thank you, baby. You're so nice. Oh, look at that ceiling, you guys. I die. Beautiful original art on the walls. I wonder who the artist is. I'm gonna find out. So our last stop for the day, you guys, is, um, is that S&S &S Steakhouse or S Double S Steakhouse? And you know, this building is, it seems very unassuming, but the food is always good. We haven't had one bad steak here yet. So if you're in Wilcox, like this is a really good, nice place to come for dinner. So you guys, after um, visiting six tasting rooms, we had to stop and get something to eat. <laughs> So good, right? The word on the street of these Brussels sprouts are to die for, so we'll see. So, we made it back from Wilcox. Um, I am so sleepy because I drank a lot of wine today and I had a really good dinner, but I wanted to show you guys the haul that we brought back. So we were able to source a lot of locally like produced stuff today. 
Um, starting with our trip to Apple Annie's, we went first this morning and we got this 20 pound box of peaches. It smells so fabulous in this kitchen right now. Um, so we'll use this for the retreat for snacks and then we'll cut some up and put them in the freezer and we'll use them later. Uh, we stopped at an orchard that we didn't plan to stop at, but we found some fresh pecans um, and we also bought some pistachios and these are grown locally there in Northern Cochise County as well. Um, oh yeah, at Apple Annie's, so, sorry. <laughs> at Apple Annie's we bought peaches. Um, they have orchards, you guys, and they have apples and pears and peaches. And so there's all kinds of stuff. You just have to go for whatever season. Um, and so we have some apple bread that's baked right there um, at Apple Annie's Orchard. And we bought a peach pie and a peach crumb pie. My husband said I peached him out. But peaches are in season right now. Um, and we also scored some uh, peach preserves too. So I bought peach David out today with all my peach stuff. But we did buy some apple pies and some peach pies for my retailer's retreat that we're having next week. But those are in the freezer. So we'll be serving those then. Um, we went to six tasting rooms today. I'm going to try to remember them all. Let's see. Keeling. Birds in Barrels. Copper Horse. Three out of six ain't bad, y'all. Um, help me out, baby. Oh, I got, um, Keeling is there. Oh, Eridus, that was one. That's my husband's favorite. Um, Golden Rule. Oh, yeah, Golden Rule and the v, the v is all I can ever remember. Strive. Strive, yes. So we went and visited with six um, tasting rooms in, right there in the downtown area. There are actually more than that, but they're more out. So we kind of stayed center and we tasted, I tasted, David was a designated driver. I tasted a lot of wine. So we brought back some red wine, some white wine, some crisp whites, some sweeter whites, and some rosés. This one is um, a red from Peeling. And then I have, is this a sparkly white? No, we didn't get the sparkling white. And this is a white from Eridus. I believe this is the one that I loved. I got two of these, one for me, one for the retreat. So we bought lots of wine today so we can have it for the mixer. Oh, and then at Annie's, I also got this crisp mix. So you can like sprinkle this on top of your apples, your oatmeal. So I, sh I probably should have got two of these. Anyways, there's brown sugar, oatmeal, some other stuff in there. And I don't know, that was our day. Uh, we had a really good day. And honestly, we went over to buy stuff for the retreat. But David and I have been so busy. We haven't spent like a ton of time with just the two of us. So it was nice to just go out with my honey and just hang out. Um, and be foodies all day. And we ended our day at the steakhouse. So good. I am so full. <laughs> but that was our day in Wilcox, Arizona. So if you guys live in Southern Arizona, Wilcox is a really lovely day trip. Um, we only went to the orchard for Apple Annie's, but there's also a second site where there's a farm where they have like additional produce. So I think right now they have watermelon out there. But they have tomatoes and green beans and okra, like all kinds of stuff that's grown locally and you can go and you can pick it yourself. Um, the, whining, the wineries are there. Um, and then we were told about a couple places that we did not know about today. So we're hoping to make it to those places. There are some really good restaurants in Wilcox, especially if you like Mexican food. So um, we had a really good day. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you guys enjoy my craziness, like be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys want to get alert whenever we upload a new video, just click the bell. Um, and that way you'll get alerted whenever we upload a video. I generally upload videos every week. Um, and I don't know. I think that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a blessed day. We'll see you next time.